Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing all super well today. In this video, I'm gonna to share with you some items that I have purchased actually before the lockdown, so during May, June. And I selected items that you may be interested in. So without any further ado, let's get started. items I'm gonna to share with you here some of them I could not even wait and I already showed them on my Instagram so you can uh, check my Instagram out and subscribe for a daily outfit inspo I'm gonna to show you how I would style them within the video because we have few items to go through um, if you've got any questions you can ask them in the uh, comments below we start with my top 10 favorite designers that I always turn to if I want some basic items to add to my wardrobe. Most of you actually love the top that I was wearing in one of the videos, so it was the white one. I show you the picture here and you were asking where I got it from and so on and so forth. So I love that top so much and I think, uh, I don't know, it just fits so well. And I really would love to add every single color to my collection, but the tops are really expensive. So all her collection is actually really expensive. They are investment pieces. Uh, they are the basics because really you can throw them on, you can put blazer over and you are just done. And they come in such a beautiful colors. First, I purchased the white one that you have already seen. Then I added to my collection black which is very simple uh, and I think white and black you can do anything really wrong especially during colder months and as you know Sydney is not that cold so this is totally sufficient you can just put over some blazer or um, just coat and you are totally fine so these pieces I think I will have <laughs> for the rest of my life I really really love them the quality of the tops is just amazing I would not really buy them in full price guys look for the deals because they are really expensive the third one that I have purchased was this color and you may have seen it as well even on my Instagram and in one of my YouTube videos and I love this color this color is so unusual different and um, you know i've got my leather pants in the same color even the blazer so love love this color and the third one the actually the fourth that i purchased was this uh, like burgundy color which is really really beautiful and you know i've got a bottega veneta burgundy pouch and yeah i wanted something to match it so i can wear it together love this color i mean because it's got a long sleeve and it is warm at top obviously they are meant for winter spring autumn days it depends where you live love love these tops now one more top from kate i couldn't help myself but i think it's such a basic for summer is this top without sleeves in sydney i really prefer all tops without any sleeves for summer especially if it's a basic under the blazer or just a so like the pants right um, i guys love it i can't stress enough how the quality is good i try to buy like similar tops from different designers they are cheaper but yeah once you get this in hand and you try it on you just don't want anything else that's what i would say the quality of the other designers was just not there but that's just my personal opinion and this i will wear over over during summer for sure all my tops are in size small so i am usually size small and yeah they fit perfectly i'm contemplating of purchasing this in black but yeah I will see you know i do not wear so much black especially for summer i mean black is mostly for winter or cooler months next item is also from kate that's the last item from kate now this item became so famous literally overnight when the picture of katie holmes merch uh, and i'll show you this here wearing this cardigan now i picked up and this is funny black color right here it is i mean simple cardigan guys but you will see how i wear it i will show you the video 
I mean, it looks very like basic cardigan. I mean, it's got the really hefty price tag, so I was really contemplating for a very long time if it's worth it or not. At the end, I have decided first I ordered the Bali color, which is beautiful, actually exactly what Kate wore, because I thought it would be great to mix and match and it would go with everything. However, um, the color washed me out. I don't know, it's my skin tone. I don't know, I just didn't feel comfortable in it. So I returned it and I picked up the black one. I thought, you know what, it's cashmere. It's cashmere with actually elastan mixture, but the cashmere never ever held such a cashmere in my hands. It's really like thicker cashmere, beautiful. I think it's very, very high quality and yeah, I can't wait to style it. Because I don't wear so much black, I think I will be mixing it with white items that I've got. I was actually so surprised how it fits and how it looks that I've ordered it another color. Yes, but I think I will finish. I would love to have every single color because they are such a high quality items. However, the price is just ridiculous. I'm sorry, the price is ridiculous. <laughs> Um, and I have to admit it. I ordered this in my regular size small and it fits perfectly. Now, I also ordered the matching bra. Yeah, I do have a small boobs and it fit. However, I was so worried, like you do move, you do walk. And if you want to have the cardigan open, I would be really worried that one wrong move and yeah, the boobs would be just out there on the display. So. Mm. I return it and I'm waiting. I ordered the black bra from my favorite uh, Australian designers, Kana Theodore, and you know I've got a lot of bralettes on them. And they are much nicer material. They fit well, they hold everything in place. I don't know. Um, I, I, I don't know how bigger busted females can actually uh, fit in Kate bras. I don't know. It's not even possible, I think. My last top is from this designer. I've never ordered it. It's just basic top. I ordered it white and black color. And I think it's very nice, simple top for summer. I can even have it under the cardigan, you know, when you go out. It's, um, it's cute how it fits on the picture. You should be wearing it sort of this way. And I'll show you on the video. However, I am intending of wearing it like um, this strap down um, the shoulders, which looks, I think, cuter. Now, this is in French size 36, which is usually my size. Uh, I ordered it to the same size in white. However, the white one, uh, French size 36, it was okay, but it was very tight under the arm and I'm quite broad in the shoulders. So unfortunately I had to return the white. I don't know if the white were cut different way than the black. Obviously they did because everything was the same. However, this strap sort of was shorter. So it was like right under my armpit and I really do not like it, especially for summer. Uh, yeah, so I think it's great for summer if you can get your hands on the white one. However, it has to fit. So if you are broad in a shoulder like me or have a little muscles, because I've got little muscles on my hands, unfortunately, it just didn't fit. Throughout the video, you will see a few items from Lowina. Our first item are shorts. They are my first actually items and can't get enough of the brand, especially clothes, I mean. The bags, I don't know, I like them, I like them on other people, but yeah, the style is just not me. But the clothing line, especially the last pieces that I've seen, uh, I just fell in love straight away when they came out. So first item, I purchased these shorts. Love the simple like leather bits here and leather bits here. It makes such a difference to the shorts. They are basic dark denim. Before this, I purchased lighter denim wash. However, I did not really like the wash in a reality. I love it when I saw it in the picture, but when it arrived, I don't know. I, I just wasn't in love with it. And because I've got so many denim shorts for summer, I thought this darker color 
would be something new i do not have any dark color in my wardrobe and i already have idea how i styled it because i told you i ordered another cardigan from kate and it will be great match for these shorts anyhow i don't want to tell you which color i ordered it but maybe you can guess now love the fit of the shorts they are in my regular size french 36 and they fit perfectly now getting to denim and guys these are basic denim that i think are so fashionable now and you don't have to break your uh, bank <laughs> purchasing them so you may have even seen them on my instagram so these are diesel and look i used to purchase from these before when i was much younger right then i sort of stopped but then when they came up with this cut they are not super high-waisted but they are very very comfortable they are really baggy now the bottom is cut straight open i love the fact that they had like a little like a greenish <laughs> i know you can't really see it from far away but green stitching here and this and you saw me how i styled it on instagram with my louis vuitton vest which i bought it for to match and i really like it now this is sort of darker wash for cooler months and i bought the same diesel cut and as you can see it's got a little I don't know I, I would be happy without but it had it there's still the baggy one which is so fashionable now however the bottom what is so great about is you can just leave it open but at the same time you can close it which looks then as so you know so at the bottom it's just cinch and it creates different look i love the fact about them i'm not sure why they haven't done it with those ones but yeah i purchased these actually i forgot in size 26 so it's my regular size in most of the jeans some i've got 25 but this is 26 and they fit perfectly one more denim that i have purchased and again i've never purchased from this brand before but i really love the cut i don't know sometimes you see the advertising and i just saw it and i really like it i'm not sure how you pronounce it um, but it's ksubi and also you don't need to break your bank for these to get they are super high-waisted and I love it. It's so hard to get like super, super high-waisted denim that fit well and are uh, just the wash that you really want. So these are, as I said, size 25, super high-waisted and they are cut straight. They fit really, really nicely. Nothing special, but I think the wash for summer will be really nice. Next item is from another my top brands the Attico which I really really love it's a basic skirt which I think it's great for casual wear and also you can dress it up and go for dinners and you feel really comfortable because it's so stretchy and it's double material so it's not like you see everything underneath what you wear I was contemplating to get a hoodie or just a sweatshirt, you know, they had it one with hoodie, one without the hoodie, just a sweatshirt. However, I've got different intention of how I'm going to wear this and especially in summer. So I will show you and I got it only after I purchased one pair of shoes, which you will see later and I want to wear those shoes with this skirt, casually, with white shirt or just white the attic t-shirt that I've got, you know, with the padding, it will look cute, simple, basic, and you are done and you will feel really, really comfortable. So I'm really excited. I love what the Attico is doing uh, with all their items, however they sizing, I don't know. I'm always the same. I mean, hidden up two kilos, but I'm always uh, the same size. However, from Attica, I got items from size Italian 38, 40. I had to even size to 42. So I am not sure why the cuts uh, really differ from season to season. And 
That's the only thing I really do not like about designers that they can keep the same sort of size chart for every single collection. We have to already deal with different size chart for every single designer. Now to deal even with different size chart from collection to collection ugh, drives me mad. I, and I really do not like the fact. But what can you do if you really want something, right? Hmm. So, love this piece and I would really love to get it in different colors as well, but yeah, we will see what they come up with. I saw only black and I didn't want really black for summer. Now we get to some suits that I want to share with you because I love them very much and some jackets. We start with one of the suits that I just love very much and you know, I love Acne, Acne Studio. They have amazing colors and they're just up my alley. On camera, it comes up a little bit lighter if I look at the screen, so I'm not sure. But it is a beautiful sort of mint color. I purchased it with the basic pants and you will see it how I style it. I love this color very, very much. The only problem with the acne is usually with other designers, the sizing, it's just so weird. So this is in size 36, French size, I mean 36 and this as well now the pants i do not like to purchase different size pants and a blazer don't ask me why i just don't now the pants size 36 are quite big but uh, i've been told by the sales associate they meant to be worn like sort of on a hips like a leisure style so that's what i'm achieving with the pants they are not like high-waisted if you want high-waisted you really have to size down at least one size another suit and we get back to Attico and it just proves how much I love the Attico look at the colors I love it I purchased it straight away when it came out because I fall in love with this color I mean it's a purple color obviously I think it, they call it lavender if I'm not mistaken but yeah can't see anymore but this one now I'll just show you. I purchased in Italian size 40. Uh, the same with the skirt. Again, the skirt is worn on the hips, not very high. Otherwise, it's very short anyhow. Uh, if you want to wear it high-waisted and you don't mind very, very short skirts, because this is already short. So if you want to wear it high-waisted, you will really just cover your bum, I think. <laughs> but you have to size down one size for sure. I just love the color and imagine I can mix it with yellows, with pink, with white. I mean, purple you can mix with so many colors. I have also ordered matching pants, not just the skirt. However, the pants were 100% cotton and they were not underlaid like this skirt, as you can see. And yeah, you just sit once and the creasing were everywhere. And I just don't like uh, creasing material, especially for the pants or skirts where you see and you can see it straight away. So I was like, mm, no. They were a great cut actually. I really like them. However, it's just not worth to spend so much money when you're not gonna wear it afterward. It is a little bit short for me and for my liking. I wish that uh, the Attico would do a little bit longer skirts. One more Attico piece comes in this yellow and it is all the collection. So I purchased it on YOOX website. So they have always the all the all the collections pieces so sometimes you have to be in luck when you browse something and you get it or you don't get it uh, now this one so that you know how funny the article sizing is is in italian size 38 and it is still oversized now i purchased the matching skirt also in italian size 38 also it is super short so not sure if I will be that comfortable wearing it, but I still wanted a matching piece with that. And yeah, I think when I get more sun tanned, it will be beautiful for summer months, but I need to get a sun tan. So whatever you see in this video and my mod shots, please excuse me, I'm so white. I have told you that I have purchased few pieces from Lowy. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you three of them because some I'm still waiting for. So, second one is this 
blazer or shirt, I'm not sure. I think it is called shirt. Obviously it is like overshirt, you can wear bralettes underneath and that's what I love because I love high-waisted denim, high-waisted shorts and bralettes and just a blazer over or cardigan as I showed you. It's a basic piece now. I was contemplating for a while about this piece. When this came out, I didn't want a denim one. I told you I was not a big fan of the wash, but this was something like between. You can match it with so many colors, especially because it is a beige color. So it would be great with the denim shorts, denim, uh, white, white shorts, like really, really a lot of things. And you can just throw it over. You, through the colder months, you can just take it with you. And I love how it fits. Now, when I saw it on a picture, I wasn't sold straight away. I didn't like this bulky sort of look. However, I said to myself that I will give it a go and I will see how it fit. So in person, again, uh, it looks much nicer than on a picture. And why I picked it up, I'll show you. Oh, I forgot to tell you the Lowy shirt is in French size 36. Before I actually purchased this shirt, I purchased other item from Lowy and that was this bucket head. Look at that. Isn't it cute? So this bucket head I always wanted in this sort of beige color for summer. I think it's great color for summer. You can mix and match with so many things. And I love that the print, because I don't want so much logo, but the white sort of lobby print is so settled you can't really even see it as you can see you can even wear these two together and i've ordered another matching piece which you will see next time maybe in my stories or definitely on my instagram love it now all of you told me that the prada back of the head looks good and it's cute so i sort of start liking it there are people who either hate bucket heads or love them I was the one who hated them all the time, but after I purchased the Prada black bucket head and I wore it quite a few times, I thought I want something in summery color. I was contemplating to get the Prada actually in a pink color, but then I was like, I want something different, actually different brand. So I purchased this. I purchased it in a size small. It is like 57 centimeters, which is just okay. Like, I don't know why I've got a small head. Um, I wish they will make it even like a touch smaller. Now we can't finish just with one bucket head. When I like buy something, I have to have more pieces. So I reach out to Gucci. I always wanted a denim head. Now the Louis Vuitton uh, bucket head was a little bit too much for me. Don't ask me why. I don't know the logo. Even so, here is all over logo. I don't know. I think it's because it is a darker denim. Not sure. I think it fits a bit different because as you can see, it is higher and it's got a little bit a longer sort of this shield, but um, I thought denim would be great uh, to the beach, like fit with anything, any shorts, white t-shirt and you're ready to go. So again, love it, love it. I can't believe I fall in love with bucket hats. That's crazy, but it's true. Now we get to my favorite part, shoes. I want to share with you a few shoes that are basic and very classic for anyone to have in the collection. I think they are not current fashionable pieces, but they are pieces that will stay in my wardrobe forever, unless anything happens again with my feet and I will have another surgery and uh, my feet will change. So I love Jimmy Choo shoes. And this is the style love, which I love. <laughs> um, they fit great, especially if you've got a wider foot at the front. They are a great fit. I crave about them all the time. Love them. The heel is eight and a half centimeters high, so very, very comfortable. I can walk in them for a long time, dance with them, whatever. I took them in my regular size 37 and a half as usual and you know I have a few of them in different colors and I just love that they are black but they've got sort of print and I love the simplicity. Obviously I love fashionable shoes so I do have few fashionable shoes that I always wear but at the same time I just love uh, to keep a classic 
uh, that I can keep forever in my collection. One more pair that I wanted to share with you and I got it in a really good price uh, is from also Jimmy Choo and this time again if I love something I can get it in every color and look at this I think it is such a statement piece and again such a classic Jimmy Choo the style is called love and again, as I said, I love this style. Maybe because I've got a wider foot at the front and they fit better than, you know, there is another style from Jimmy Choo, which is called Romy. And I've got a few of those, but they, they are not as comfortable as these. With these, I can walk, I can dance, I can do whatever, and I can last in those. And they are eight and a half centimeter tall. Love and can't recommend enough. This uh, is a random purchase that I really had no idea I'm gonna to buy but I was after this particular color of boots and I found this brand and you tell me if you know it I've never purchased from this brand Abra before and I am really really surprised of the quality and uh, look big box it is not cheap brand I have to admit look even the wrapping paper is pink I mean, they sold me already, right? But look at the boots. I mean, aren't they gorgeous? The perfect pink. Again, not sure how it comes on the camera, but it is a great pink. If you know my cocoa handle in small, it is exactly the same pink color and I just love it. The heel is, I'm not sure how high, but I think it's not written here. Oh. Uh, yeah the heel is not stated here but yeah it looks like eight centimeters so you can walk in them for a very very long time and i just love them guys the quality is amazing i mean for that price i would expect to be amazing but yeah if you heard of this brand let me know because as i said for me it's the first time i've never heard of this brand but I love the quality and especially the color. I thought obviously I will be wearing it this winter. As you know, the whole winter we are in lockdown, so I haven't taken them out and you can see that they are brand new. But again, my favorite color, it will not change definitely next year. So I hope I will be wearing them and I will get a chance to wear them next year. And again, love it they're very comfortable i2 size 38 i think they do not come in half a sizes and as you know i'm 37 and a half but sometimes i do take 38 depends on a designer so i always go half a size up if i need to decide or i'm between sizes so yeah i think they did don't have half a sizes now we get to favorite color i think i have to stop staring at Prada website. If you watch my previous video when I unboxed, I think the Louis Vuitton loafers, and I told you I wanted something different, not that everyone had on Instagram, and it was all the social media. So I purchased the Louis Vuitton loafers with the big buckle on top, and you can see it all over my Instagram, and I love, love them. I've never thought I would be a loafer person, Especially because when the Gucci loafers were so famous, I purchased like three pairs. Never wore them. They're brand new. Never, never ever wore them. I'm not sure because at that time I was working, you know, always high heels to work and all the stuff. And I was dressed up differently. I'm not sure why. So, because I love them so much, I thought, okay, girl, let's get these because then you will feel sorry you didn't get them. So... I put the plug in, actually purchased so famous Prada loafers that I told you I do not want them because everyone has them. But what can I do? I really love them. Now, I really was surprised with myself that I love the Louis Vuitton loafers so much. All my friends are laughing at them, <laughs> especially my bestie that she sees them. And yeah, she has not nice comments on them, but I love them very much. So I thought I would get these two. 
because I have few Prada outfits and I think it's very nice to have just one brand outfits. Even so, the Louis Vuitton loafers do not have any logo all over like the Prada, you know, you can see Prada, but uh, the Louis Vuitton are very settled, really settled, and that's what I like about them. But the chunky sort of chain sometimes was really overwhelming uh, with some of my outfits, so I wanted something very settled, even so there is a logo, but it's clean. So I really love these, they are very comfortable, I have to admit, and I took my regular size 37 and a half. Now, you know, Prada does all different sizing. I've got sizes 38, 37 and a half, high heels 37, so it is like very weird. But this 37 and a half, I can still put like thin socks in it, even so I don't think I will be ever wearing it with the socks. I really wanted to hate them, I really did. However, first of all, they're comfortable. They are so sleek. I love them. Uh, I think that they will be my wardrobe for the rest of my life because they will fit uh, with most of my outfits, especially if you go with the jeans. You don't want any hassles. You don't want high heels. You want to still feel comfortable, but still dressed up and put together. I think they will be great. Now, you know the Kate cardigan. You know, you can have a bralette, high-waisted denim those loafers and you are ready to go. I mean, it's a great outfit just to put together a few pieces. And yeah, what can I say? I am sorry that everyone's got them, <laughs> but I still love them. So I will be wearing both of them, even the Louis Vuitton loafers, even these, I just love them. Obviously the thicker platform is not for everyone i think it's mostly for younger generation and they will be only fashionable for a certain period of time so guys that was it from today's video i hope you enjoyed it if yes please give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i would love you to join my youtube family if you've got any questions please leave them in the comments below thank you so much for watching and i really hope to catch up with you in my next video have a lovely day and take care ciao